guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you have an amazing day. Today I'm, I'm going to show you how to make fresh mozzarella for your pizza or for your salad or whatever you want to do it. It's nice and simple. You have to get the right ingredients. The ingredients to be right, otherwise it's not gonna work. Before start this video, if you want to do at home, don't do with the normal milk from the supermarket because it's not gonna work. So you need to use raw milk. I know some country, you don't get this milk. I'm sorry for that for some places. So this is raw milk we are get from the farmer's market. It's straight from the cow. Okay, then we're gonna use two liter of raw milk, two milligram of vegetarian rennet. I use vegetarian rennet here. You can get this one, you can get on eBay. I bought eBay, a couple of pounds. And the citro acid, um, again, I bought in eBay, few few pounds. So one gram of citro, citro acid, two grams of two milligrams of rennet. Okay, the first thing as well, you need also a thermometer to check your temperature. Otherwise, if you go too much, if you burn your milk, you're gonna destroy your, your process. Okay, so I'm gonna put the milk in the pot. I'm gonna put two liters of raw milk. Okay, and then we're gonna put in my oven to make slightly hot. Okay, so I'm gonna put in my oven. I still have to reach around 37, 38 degrees Celsius. And then we're gonna check in a few minutes. Okay guys, our milk is nearly ready, so we need to reach around 37, 38 degrees. It seems coming up. I wanna make sure don't go too, too hot. So another, maybe another minute. And then I'm gonna remove a uh, hot all the ingredients. Okay, it's coming up. It's very hot, it's difficult to work for the, the wood fire oven. There you go, 36, 37, there you go. So I don't wanna go more than that, as you can see it's 37 now, so I'm gonna leave a rest the milk. And now, I'm gonna put the citro acid here, melting with the water. Okay, so it's got to melt with the water. I'm gonna use a little stick. Okay, I'm gonna pour in there, I'm gonna a little bit mix. Okay, and now I'm gonna add the two milliliter of rennet. All right, I'm gonna give a little stirring. Okay, just like that. And now, what I'm gonna do, I'll give a rest for 10, 15 minutes. And we'll see when the curd is gonna split it. Okay, so give a rest now for 10, 15 minutes. See the curd start to split. Okay, have a look here. We're gonna cut it now our mozzarella. Have a look. Look, now we're gonna do the cross. Come close to the camera. We're gonna make a couple of cuts. Cross like that. Another one like that. So we're gonna make little cubes. Okay. I'm gonna make a few more cuts. Okay, there you go, look at that. And now we're gonna give a rest another 50 minutes before we're gonna drain. Okay. Okay, now after 50 minutes we give a rest, I'm gonna finish to make smaller everything with the whisk. So I'm gonna cut all the curd. And now we're gonna drain go we make a smaller pieces and now with the colander I'm gonna take it out they gonna drain all the cart here okay so all the liquid nearly finish press a little bit more we do that as well move it Ok, 
Okay, now we're gonna try to stretch in our mozzarella. So I'm gonna put boiling water here, a little bit cold water here, which I'm gonna add a 50 gram of sea salt. Okay, I'm gonna put the salt. I'm gonna put the rest of the butter milk here as well. Give a little bit more flavor like that. Okay, our boiling water is coming now. I'm gonna put a glass. This glass it's not gonna help a lot, so very careful now. I'm gonna use this boiling water, gonna try to do the, the stretching. Little bit of water. Okay, let's put a glass on. Let's see. If it's stretching, it's ready to go. If you're not stretching, maybe you need to wait a bit longer to before stretch your mozzarella. Alright. So we're gonna take a piece and then with the stick eh? I'm trying to put together seem like a see like stretching now see like a see and you can see already it's melting that's the important things. Let's see, put on the stick. Now, if it's not come down, it should be, it's not too bad, it should be okay. See, it starts a snap. So we're gonna add. So, mozzarella is stretchy now, so we're gonna finish to put the water here very careful if you do at home this is boiling water 90 95 degrees celsius so we gotta put all the rest here complete our mozzarella now we need to put all together yeah use a stick you can use a tongs you can use a different tools as long as you don't burn yourself with the gloves is a little bit more safe, but still I can feel it. The hot, the water is very hot. So we can do, for example, oh la la. Okay, so we can do that like a pizzas. Look at that, look the color. The dough we melts like that. So I'll make a few. So now I'm gonna soak in the cold water with the salt. Okay. Yeah, nice. I'm happy now with this stretching. And then, guys, we're gonna make our pizza. Cut in the bottom, yeah, like you do your pizza bowl. Nice. There's something else again. Yeah, there's a little bit more here. That's it. A little mozzarella here now. Mm, I can't wait to try. So exciting. I think there's nothing else here. Yeah, there's no more. So now I'm gonna just give it a little cooling down now and then we're gonna make our pizzas. Let's do the pizza now. Now I'm gonna make fun in my pizza. I've never make a video with the mozzarella, make my, my pizza with my mozzarella. So now I'm gonna cut it. Definitely gonna try. Look at that. See, nice and creamy. Let's try. Guys, you should try. Cut. That's our Fior di Latte mozzarella style. I'm gonna cut all. You can make, nice, can make a nice caprese salad. You can cut this cube as well if you like it. I prefer cut it a little, little pieces like that. And now, I'm gonna make our lovely margherita. So exciting. Right. 
finally we're gonna try our own mozzarella in our my pizzas. You need to be spinning like that, skip like that as well. Let's see. Wow, alright, and now thing. Tomato sauce. Couple of leaves of my lovely basil. There you go. Okay, I always make sure you put the, the, the mozzarella on top of the basil to avoid burns too much, otherwise it burn very quickly. Right, just a little bit, olive oil, bang. Straight to our oven now. Maybe another few pieces, yeah, bang. That's it, go to the oven now. So exciting guys. Right. Remember if you want to do your mozzarella, the milk is important, it's the key. Uh, unfortunately I tried in the past doing uh, milk for supermarkets, um, it's not gonna work unfortunately, so it has to be uh, from some farm, some farmer's market you can get and uh, uh, with uh, pasteurized milk someone, if someone knows, can do it, show me, send me a link to someone can do with the pasteurized milk, but try many times, really, you have to use unpasteurized milk. Obviously, I buy my mozzarella for the business, uh, just this it costs so much money as well to buy this uh, mozzarella raw milk, but just to make a, a show you how you can make a home as well, it's not complicated, uh, we use 30 40 kilos a week of mozzarella so it would be impossible for me to make uh, the mozzarella home but just for fun you can make it so if you go a farm if you go place where you can get your own milk why not there we go our mozzarella is ready our pizza look at that see no water in Lovely color, and you can see it's even nice. And we're gonna try now, which is a bit too hot, but I'm gonna try my pizza with my own mozzarella. Tasty, the salt, and maybe with the salt. I hope they were melted. And that, my mozzarella, guys. Yep, yeah. please leave a comment below if you got any question. And uh, if you like this video, big thumbs up. And then, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.